Hello, everybody. Today on episode 11 of the Re-Up, we got two ounces. One, one, you know, one ounce, one ounce for episode 11. So we're going to open them up and do a little strain review for one of them because we haven't gotten one of these strains yet. And then the other one is the Gelato Littles, which we have gotten before. So let's really dive right into it and let's see what is it like okay okay so first of all perfect this is the gelato little so i've already gone through this before in my last episode you can go check that out if you're inter interested in seeing this product this was 55 dollars for like for an ounce it smells a bit different from last time it smells a bit more gassy and there's a lot more tiny nugs in here Pretty similar though, like it has like this like potent, like gas smell. It's like, reminds me of like power plant from a long time ago, like really, really, really strong power plant. So it's like super gassy, but then it like, you do get a little hint of that like push in there. The flavors from the gelato. It's just hard to like really get in there because the nugs are so small, you know? I don't know. It's weird trying to, cause it's like kind of like that Kush smell is kind of like sweet. That's what I was trying to. I was trying to get like uh, inspect that like hint of like Kush that I'm getting. But yeah, the gas kind of overpowers it. It's hard to smell with the nugs. So I'll have to look into that more later on. Do a little bit more of an investigation and inspection of this closer look, closer smell. You know. Okay. Next. We got something a little different, something I haven't covered yet on this show for you guys. You know, my hair is very, uh, being annoying right now. The next strain, the next bag, the next ounce we got to look at in here. -na -na. If I can get it out. Come on. Oh, it's because they accidentally stapled the freaking weed bag. One time I even like sliced my whole hand on the staples from the packaging too. Like, this is dangerous stuff, bro. They gave me the wrong one. Ah. No way. Yeah, the whole reason I did this order was to get Nukin. What? No. That's disappointing. This is really weird stuff, too. What the heck? Got this like pungent y kind of like sweet, sweet and pungent y smell. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of like, like, like chocolatey, like in a sweet way. I don't know. Like it smells like I'm smelling like some like, sh like some like fruit flavored chocolate or like some like. I don't even know, like some cherry, some strawberry chocolate, but it has like, it's like aged for too long and has like some cheese mixed in or something. I don't even know. It's just like this pungent smell. And then it's like these like fluffy, dark, trichomy nugs. So I don't really like the look of this, like how it's dark and everything, but I'll have to smoke it to see if they don't do a return. Damn, that's kind of sad. I've never tried Tom Ford though, so honestly, I've tried Nukin before. I was really excited for the Nukin, that's why. Such a weird smell. Um, here, I'll take some out for you to look at real quick. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna go investigate what really happens here. And 
yeah, if I have to keep this stuff, then I'll obviously smoke it. So I'll add more to the review and, or the straight, yeah, the straight, I'll add more to the strain review and I'll go more in depth. And then I'll do the preview as well. So, such a weird smell. It smells like a like old, ain't like a freaking ancient like chocolate factory or something. I don't know how to explain this. It, I've never smelt this really before. And it's really like super fluffy, sticky, but dense. It's really weird textured weed also. All right, I'm gonna go look into this because I'm very, uh, frazzled about this. I I wanted my nukin. What the hell? Oh well. I wanted those yummy flavors in the indica. Dang it. I. Well, let's. We'll have to investigate. All you guys know. Stay tuned. Check out the preview. Peace.